Hi everyone. In this part I want to introduce another method which is called Lagrange multipliers to find the maximum or the minimum values of the functions of several variables subject to some constraints. In the previous part we optimized the function on a region that contained its boundary. Finding potential optimal points in the interior of the region is not too difficult in general. All that we needed to find the critical points and plug all these critical points into the function. However, as we saw in the examples, finding potential optimal points on the boundary was often a fairly long and a messy process. In this part, I want to, to, I want to take a look at another way of optimizing a function subject to some given constraints. The constraints may be, the, may be some equations that describe the boundary of a region. So let's get, let's get things set up. I want to optimize a function of f of x, y, z subject to the constraint g of x, y, z is equal to k. Sometimes it's very difficult to solve this system. Sometimes it's very difficult to solve system. In general, we don't know how to how to solve or where do we start, but the important step is just start. If you start then you will handle to solve the problem. Let's look at the method. We first find all values of x, y, z in the first step and of course the multiplier lambda such that gradient of f of x, y, z is equal to gradient of lambda times which is lambda which is a multiplier lambda times gradient of g of x, y, z and we have um, a const we have a constraint g of x, y, z, which is equal to a constant k. In the second step, in, in second step, we evaluate the given function at all the points which we get from step one, and the largest one is the maximum value. The smallest one is the minimum value. Now let's look at two examples to understand the procedure. I prefer to choose example 2 and example 3 and example 1 is yours. Let's start from the first step. Okay. Let's start from reading the question. First you must understand a rectangular box is to be inscribed inside the ellipsoid. The question is find the largest possible volume for the box. So what is the function to be maximized? The volume of the box. So what is the formula of the volume of the box? 2x times 2y times 2z which is 8x y z it is the formula of the volume so we need to maximize this function let's call this function as f okay this is the function that has to be maximized what is the constraint the constraint is 2x square plus 2y square plus 4 z square is equal to 12 is our constraint okay so let's start gradient of f derivative of f with respect to x 8 y z derivative of f with respect to y derivative of f with respect to z
is equal to the multiplier times gradient of g derivative of g with respect to x only for x derivative of g with respect to y 2y derivative of g with respect to z 8z we have 8z okay let me substitute this system 8 yz yz is equal to lambda times 4x 8xz is equal to is equal to lambda times 2y and finally 8xy is equal to lambda times 8z okay so let's look at the blue formulas we can cancel some terms we can cancel by 4 then we have 2 by 2 we have 4 and we can cancel these eights. so what do I have lambda the multiplier lambda is equal to from the first one 2yz divided by x is equal to from the second one 4xz divided by y is equal to also lambda from the third one we have xy divided by z is equal to lambda let's look at the first equality okay from the blue box from the blue box we have you can cancel these z's okay you can cancel also 2 and 4 finally we have y square y square is equal to 2 x square 2 x square let's let's look at another one let's look at this equality okay by this equality we have y square is equal to y square is equal to 4 z square y square is equal to 4 z square if you substitute you will see and finally finally by these two equalities we have we have x square is equal to 2z square okay now we have three nice equalities so let's the final step is to plug all these relations in to the given constraint which is 2x square plus y square plus 4z square is equal to 12 so 2x square plus y square plus 4z square instead of 2x square we have 4z square let me clear this one okay instead of 2x square we have 4z square instead of y square we have 4z square again 4z square and instead of 4z square we write 
for z square is equal to 12. So it means z square is equal to 1, which implies z is 1. Is it possible to have minus 1 for z? No, it's not possible since z is a length. Lengths cannot be a negative value. So z is 1. Z is 1. Let's use these three relations to find the other values. Z is 1. Y is 2. And X is finally square root of 2. So we have a point. X is square root 2. Y is 2. And Z is 1. So these three points give the maximum volume of the box. So let's remember the formula of the volume. 8 times x times y times z. x times y times z. Which is 18 square root 2 is the maximum volume. Maximum volume of the box. So it is, the, it is the solution of problem 2. I hope you understand. Now let's look at the problem 3. Find the maximum and minimum values of... We have a function of two variables. Here, f of x, y, f of x, y. Subject to the constraint 4x squared plus y squared plus 9. Now let me clear the board first. Okay, let me first clear, simply I need some space, okay. Now let's look at the question. I need to find, I need to maximize and minimize a function. This is not an engineering problem, this is a mathematical problem. So, let's look at the question. F is, the question is here, F is 8 to 1 x square plus y square, G is 4 x square plus y square is equal to 9. This is the constraint, this is the max, this is the function that has to be maximized and minimized. Gradient of f, derivative of first component is 162x, derivative of f with respect to y is 2y is equal to the multiplier times derivative of the constraint with respect to x, 8x, derivative of constraint with respect to y is 2y. So we have this system to solve. From the first equality, we have 162x is equal to lambda times 8x. From the second one, we have 2y is equal to lambda times 2y. Okay. Let's look at the second equality. We have two cases for the second equality. Either, either y is 0 or lambda is, lambda is 1. If lambda is 1, the equality is satisfied. If y is 0, the equality is also satisfied. So we have, we, have, we actually have two cases. So, if y is equal to 0, if y is equal to 0, what is the value of x? Is the first question. If y is equal to 0, let's look at the constraint. 
if y is equal to 0 then for the first case y is equal to 0 for x square is equal to 9 it means x is plus minus 3 over 2 so we have two points from the first case we have two points from the first case 3 over 2 0 minus 3 over 2 0 so two points from here let's look at the second case if lambda is 1 if lambda is 1 then we have if lambda is 1 then we have what in this case you can plug this value into the first equation the first equation is 162x is equal to lambda times lambda times 8x if lambda is 1 what is the value of x if lambda is 1 if lambda is 1 then x must be 0 so we have one cases if lambda is 1 then x is 0 if x is 0 again look at the look at the constraint if x is 0 y is either 3 or minus 3 y is either 3 or minus 3 let me clear this part okay so we have three points to check we now have three points to plug in to the function f of sorry f of minus 3 over 2 all f of 3 over 2 all f of o3 and f of o minus 3 i need all this information f of minus 3 over 2 o and plus 3 over 2 o they are both 729 over 4 the same value okay and f of minus f of o minus 3 and f of o plus 3 they are both 9 as you see this value is the biggest one so so it is maximum this value is the minimum value so the point 0 o the point o3 and o minus 3 gives the minimum value the point minus 3 over 2 and plus 3 over 2 o give the maximum value for the function is all for the Lagrange multipliers i hope it's okay if you have any kind of questions please write your comments